So this was actually quite a challenge for me because I usually get to speak about multiple sclerosis and NMOSD. And here it was the context of CIDP, which does have a lot uh, in common with multiple sclerosis immunopathologically, mainly because it is a macrophage mediated demyelination. Only that with MS, it's central nervous system and with uh, CIDP, it's peripheral. Uh, both uh, diseases have immune dysregulation as the main uh, component of disease pathophysiology. Uh, there is a uh, pronounced role of T cells, of B cells. Uh, there is the barrier problem, blood brain or blood nerve for the central and peripheral nervous system respectively. Uh, and uh, there is complement activation as well, uh, which is more of a shared feature with NMOSD and one specific type of multiple sclerosis lesion which is a type 2 immunopattern. So there's a lot of those uh, points uh, in common. Uh, however, of course, uh, since it's the periphery for CIDP, it's a completely uh, different um, pathological process, but the immunity uh, has a lot uh, in common. So that was the basis for, uh, for the topic of my uh, talk. Um, and since CIDP is such a rare condition compared to multiple sclerosis, it makes sense that you would repurpose drugs uh, from multiple sclerosis and NMOSD, and there is a multitude of them, uh, that you would repurpose them for CIDP.